little puppy. Hey, little puppy. Roof. Good morning. It's Sunday, the 30th of October. I am going from Abrea to Lavacola, a little over nine miles, maybe 10, and then tomorrow to Santiago. It's not supposed to rain this morning. It's very misty, so pray that it stays like that all day. It'll be nice to walk in a day with no rain. I've put my poncho away but I can get it out quickly if need be. So here we go. Yesterday, people saw me coming down this road behind me and were yelling at me that I went the wrong way because the Camino is this way. But I had to yell back that I was staying here tonight. So, I believe this is where I turn. Let's see. Yep. This is it. And that's where I stayed. All right. Hope it's not too muddy from yesterday. And the clocks changed last night. At three o'clock in the morning, it was then two o'clock. And we are now only five hours ahead of the East Coast, FYI. All right, catch you later. Look at the mist over there, isn't that pretty? A little muddy. One more day after today, and Abuela Peregrina will have walked 500 miles, 800 kilometers across Spain. I'm so excited. Eek. I'm feeling really good today, and I think the weather, seeing some blue sky and no rain, is really helping. I've only seen three other pilgrims, and they were probably staying at the town right before mine. Because obviously no one stayed where I did last night. So most of them came to Opedruzo, which should be the next town up here. And they will be going from there directly on to Santiago today. And where I'm staying in Lavacola is near the Santiago airport. So that tells you how close I will be to Santiago. But I will have to make a little detour tomorrow first to Monte de Gozo, where there's some famous pilgrim statues and a vista of Santiago. So it might be a little over 10K tomorrow with that little, it might be a total of three kilometers out and back detour, we'll see. But uh, very quiet today, very nice. And I'm just thinking about everything and what I have accomplished. I believe I have done what I have set out to do. We will see tomorrow once I reach the cathedral. So, Anyway, I am a happy camper today and just walking through the woods today.
four and a half miles in with no place to stop. Get a stamp, eat, nothing, zero. So I don't even know where I am. I thought I was at Opedruzo, but I think Opedruzo has more to offer and a lot of people stay there. So we must not be there or I must not be there yet. So I definitely want to stop, get a stamp and maybe something to eat. But I'm halfway to my destination already and it's not even 10 o'clock in the morning. I left at eight. All right, let's see where this comes out eventually. Listen to that water. And I think there's a place to stop. Let me see. I'm in Lavacola. I should be just a little ways from my quote apartment where I'm staying tonight. And I'm excited and emotional and happy and proud and determined and committed and sad, all the things. So let's see where my Casa de Amancio is, where I'm staying. Oh, I see a church down there, first one in a while. Meow. Meow. Look, yeah. it's the whole hundred kilometers left yeah. marker until Santiago. One hundred is the uh, apartment where I'm staying. My little apartment. I have a little living room with a table. Here's my stuff. I don't even know what's in here. Oh, look, I had. <laughs> A kitchen! Wow! Who knew? Not that I'm going to use it, except for making my shake in the morning. 
and they they're going to make me yogurt in the morning before I go too. So I have this. I have my little room, and I have my bathroom. And there's a closet here. Just has some pillows and stuff. I can relax here and watch some TV. Lucky, lucky me for my last night on the trail. I made it to my last habitacion, habitacion on the Camino. I will be staying in Santiago the next three nights, but I'm excited, I'm emotional, I'm happy, I'm sad. I just have all the emotions right now, but I just want to do a little dance. Do, do, do. Six miles or less tomorrow. Yay, can you believe I did it? You know me, I'm committed, I'm dedicated, I don't give up what I start. But look at this, whoo, look. That's how much weight I've lost, 18 pounds. Dang. Okay, tomorrow is the last day. has been quite the journey and I'm sure I will be processing it for a long time. I have been imagining walking into the square tomorrow in Santiago and imagining what it's going to be like when my friends Pam and Barry, who I met about three weeks ago on the Camino, will be there to greet me. They've been there a few days touring around. So it's just quite emotional I have been on the verge of tears all day. I did cry a little bit on the way. I was listening to my Camino uh, playlist the last three miles to get me into town because there was quite a bit of uphill. And I'm sure there'll be a lot more emotion tomorrow, but I think I'm kind of cried out for today. When I get home in a week, I will have been gone 74 days. So my life has changed and I need to go back to my normal life at home with family and grandchildren. So like I said, I will be processing this for a while, what it has meant to me. <sighs> so anyway, thank you for following me on my journey. Tomorrow will be the last Camino post and then I'll post after that about what I'm doing for the week afterwards. But, uh, and I hope to go live tomorrow. I am now five hours ahead of the East Coast because we changed clocks yesterday. We went back an hour and I am leaving at eight and I hope to be there by 11. So I'm thinking of going live on Facebook as I walk into the cathedral. And then when I see Pam and Barry handing Barry the camera so he could continue filming when I get there. But we'll see if that all works out. So anyway, happy Sunday, everyone.